Hey everybody. So what is that? It's a little bunny. I don't know what it is. It's going in an envelope. The envelope is sealed. I write my own address on it and um, I'm mailing it out. I'll explain what's going to go on with this later on in the video. So this is a piece of driftwood I got on one of my beach combing videos. You can see that crack there goes all the way through. Remember what I say? Check your bottom side too. See that crack goes all the way through. I'll show you how to fix this. Get an axe. Split it in half. So you once had one carving. Well now you have two pieces for two carvings. This one, man, not very good. This one is the better one. I did think it was birch wood pulling it off the beach. But um, it's some kind of fruit wood. Spalted fruit wood. I know that because it uh, smelled good when I was carving it. Sure did. So here I got my Dremel 4000 flex shaft with the Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr. Okay, that's my favorite go-to burr right there. And there's a quarter inch on my uh, Fordham Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr too, all right? So these are the two burrs I'm basically going to be using for this. Sorry I, I didn't, um, this is for the very beginning wood carver. I already had my wood spirit outlines drawn on there. So this is how I do it. Put your center line on there. Okay, your forehead. Like I said, this is for the very beginning Dremel Carver. If you want to get those Cutsaw burrs, go to the description down below. We'll take you to the Cutsaw site. Use the code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. So, there's the nose drawn on. See the pitch there? I try to make those the same and the, not, the length in between those lines. I try to make that the same. Like I said, it's for the very beginning Dremel Carver and I'm going to keep repeating that. And don't draw your, uh, like, the bridge of your nose too thin in there leave a gap inside there too okay so I'm just redrawing it on so you guys can see what's going on what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve the forehead in first and take it back so that way you can get the nose to pop off the face the farthest like a normal human face I don't try to I'm not this is a very basic wood spirit and I'm not trying to carve a real looking face you see so when I cut it that's the pitch I want to have it with that pencil I want to taper all that back into the forehead Okay, so this is basically going to be a real-time video. So, oh boy, I got a lot of uh, voiceover to do. I figured if I'm going to do a how to carve a wood spirit, a beginner wood spirit, I'll just do it real-time. There's only a little bit that's sped up. So, you'll see I'll keep going deeper, deeper with that forehead. Then when I think it's getting to the point where my burr is going to get stuck inside there and break my flex shaft, then it, see now I'll start tapering it down right so you don't have a big ditch on you don't have walls on either side because that's how your your uh, burr can get stuck inside there and break your uh, flex shaft so there I'm cutting deeper and taper away just cut and remove cut I say cut and feather cut and feather but so yeah this wood smells uh, pretty good actually I don't know what kind of fruit wood it is though, but absolutely it's fruit wood. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to my Fordham. I run the SR series, okay? Because I want to do bulk removal to speed it up a bit. Okay, so this wood is not a very hard piece of wood. It's it's a lot harder than uh, it's a lot harder than bark. It's harder than bass, but not much harder than basswood. A good solid piece of basswood basswood you get different grades uh, you get hard basswood you get softer stuff but I would compare this to a uh, well I guess it's safe I'd compare it to a harder type of basswood um, excuse me so there I'm just cleaning up the, which I should have done from the very beginning point because I'm gonna carve this whole piece I'm taking off pretend that's all the bark I'm taking off just to see what the wood light is like inside right okay so here I am. Always redraw your center lines on. Don't be afraid not to. So now I'm going to, because the bottoms are so square, now I'm going to round off with my Fordham. I'm going to round off the uh, edge at the bottom and uh, take some off the side so the beard kind of tapers in. So it's just not such a, well, I guess a, the word would be, it's not such a piece of wood looking carving. If that makes any sense. Okay. Okay. 
So yeah, try uh, this video is like four, 45 minutes long. Try you try adding royalty few free music to a 45 long minute video. It's supposed to be kind of relaxing music. Yep. So there I am. Just this is where I sped it up. This part here. <clears throat> Um, I love watching the show Gold Rush. I was pretty dis. I love uh, Tuesday nights because that's the Gold Rush is on. Pretty disappointed that um, it was just basically reruns of the Hoffman Gang. Three hours of it I watched. Oh boy. Um, okay, so this tape here I call it Carving Fusion Warrior Tape. I wrap it around my finger when I'm going to be doing some serious carving. It's just painter's tape because that way you don't get the big dent from pushing the um, handpiece. Okay. So there I'll put the hand piece. I won't even feel it sitting in the ridge of, I, I got calluses on my fingers, but I still use it. Okay. And once again, redrawing my center line on. You guys noticed I, I took off my lines for my eyes and my nose. So here, they, now you can see me drawing it on now. Very beginning drivel carver here, power carving, beginning power carving. And like I said, I'm running the Dremel 4000 with the Dremel flex shaft and using Cutsol Extreme Flame Burrs. I do use an aluminum burr at the very end of the video. Okay, so there I am just carving, carving on the lines. So for the beginners, the, the nicer you put on your, your beginning carving, uh, sorry, the nicer you put on the lines, the nicer you're going to get a template what to carve right shaping's a total different story just look from side to side of the face all right so there i'm cutting the eyes in besides the bridge of the nose see how i left that bridge take the bridge of the nose down take but below the eyebrows lower than the eyebrows oh uh, yeah and this is actually harder than hard basswood come to think of it Just removing the wood, making everything, I guess the word would be elevate, splitting the eyebrows. Notice how I didn't draw on my mustache yet? Because you don't need to. You don't need to draw it on yet. Because you've got lots of wood to remove before you even draw it on, right? You can if you want. Just kind of slowly rounding the nose, making everything proportionate. Is everybody getting ready for Christmas? Well, everybody should almost be ready. It's only a few days away now. Just sure caught up to us. I'm uh, caught up to us in no time. I'm going to start carving the Christmas trees in August uh, next year. So there I am. Just, just, it's just constantly going over everything. See, I was just taping the head back. The nose is starting to get elevated a bit. Okay, so what am I going to do now? I'll draw the mustache on. Shout out to Ben's Studio on the Lake. Are you doing it over there, Ben? Working on your commissioned piece? Guys, if anybody doesn't know, he's got a YouTube channel, Ben's Studio on the Lake. He's a whittler, but he does lots of power car. He does it all. He does power carving, mostly power carving, actually, but he's a whittler. Like, he uses his, what's it called, chip carving or something. I don't know if whittlers, oh yeah. So, see those lines there, right here? is the deepest cut right there from there to there is where i cut deepest in the piece and that's how you're going to get your nose to really pop off but yeah ben has a stu youtube channel studio on the lake so i do one side then i go right over to do the next side try and keep them equal to each other okay now i'm going to undercut do a deep cut below the nose now okay it's about a half inch cut. Now I'm going to remove that wood, just cleaning up the nose. You'll see I just kind of jump around. It's hard not for me to. See that cut in there? Okay. See that? Now I'm going to remove all that wood. And that's how you're going to get your nose to pop off. I think I pull up my Fordham in a bit here, maybe. Just removing the wood, feathering it away. So your, your, your that initial cut mark 
you're removing that cut mark and you're feathering away like what I mean feathering away is like making it like a slow downhill hopefully I show you guys an angle okay there you go uh, come on turn it sideways Jordy okay now I want to make the nose pointy so I didn't show you the angle that I wanted to show you but we're working on the nose now not too pointy my noses are just like Rob says you can tell my nose is, my carving nose is a million miles away. I try and switch them up, but they're always kind of the same. See, there I am cutting below the nose again to make it pop off. Now feathering away the wood from my cut. Remember to feather away your cut, which, remove, which means remove your cut line. Okay, cutting deeper, doing another cut, feathering a bit more. Okay, see that slope there? That's what I'm talking about, slow dill. I still got tons of wood to take away there. Because you got a steep hill, I want to make it a slow downhill. And uh, my cat's injured. I got a cat, her name's Lee, for anybody that doesn't know, but um, my subscribers know, my friends know. Watch this, my cat, uh, I don't know, something's wrong with her leg. She's not too bad, she's just, I guess she's just resting. And, uh, letting it heal but if I touch I found out it was her leg because I kind of seen her limping I kind of did like a doctor thing on her and poked certain parts of her legs and there yeah there's a certain part I poked at she kind of didn't bite me she licked my hand and I did it again she licked my hand again then I did it again then she put her teeth softly on my finger so yeah poor Lily these Lee's down and out that's okay She'll see that, see that steep slope, the steep hill's gone, now it's a slow sto slope. Uh, drawing your center line back in. Okay, and there I am just doing my, this is just going to have a bottom lip. So when you cut in between your must, your mustache doesn't have to stick that far off the piece, okay? I used to have my mustache like sticking like an inch off the piece. Okay, so I don't know what I was saying there, but whatever. So I am going to cut deep in here, but I'll slowly take down the mustache too. I'll, I'll push it back. Push it back in carving terms means make it lower. I guess they'd say. Okay, so once again, feathering away the extra wood. Like uh, Studio on the Lake says, wood's basically carving's removing, sculpting's adding. How you doing out there? Just carve, Rob. Got all your gnomes and Santas painted. I know you said you're playing your Xbox today. I've been thinking about getting another one. But the last thing I need to do is be trapped inside playing my Xbox. Today. I've always had the Xbox or the PlayStation. I'd play uh, Madden football or hockey, and I love the game uh, Gods of War too. That was a wicked game. So there I am uh, carving in the uh, nostrils. Look at me, I'm 48 years old talking about video games. They're cool. But I've just been so busy, I don't think I'd have time to uh, do them. Okay, so think here, yeah, I'll draw it on so you guys see. So here's the bottom lip, okay? Just simple straight line across right now. A cut below that line. Make the bottom lip seem raised up. I'm gonna stop this voiceover right now, make sure it, it saves, and then I'll be back. Okay, successful, it saved. So there you can see the bottom lip start. See how deep I cut on each side of the bottom of the lip? And there I am taking the mustache down lower. Just making, trying to make both sides equal. Okay. Now that cutting the bottom lip and more. Each side of the bottom lip cut really deep in there. Um, around the bottom lip though. It's not so, I'm just kind of, uh, there's a chin. So I cut it. I remove the wood below the chin. Okay. Then you'll see me round off the chin. 
See how deep I go in the poo? Nice and deep under there. Because when you do burning, it's the burn stays in there. When you when you do your sanding, it stays dark. It just gives it a nice effect, especially when you're uh, chainsaw carving. Okay. So when you put the chin in there, you, when you put your beard hairs in, I suggest go really light on your beard hairs there or you'll remove the chin. Okay, so the nose is kind of off balance, so there I am going to clean it up a bit. Just look at one side to another side of the face, right? Pretend your center line's still down the middle. Try and make both sides equal. This is probably like a 25 minute carving for me, so it was kind of rushed. I didn't uh, carve eyes in this guy, I just did the carving fusion, no eye, wood spirit. I think they still look just as cool without eyes. Okay, so there, see that? See that? There's a chin, mustache. That book wood on the bottom, I'm going to take my Fordham and flatten it out. Okay, so there I am starting to carve pre, I call the pre-beard hairs. So the beard hairs I'll do in two stages. I'll do deeper lines, then I'll come back with my Dremel, and then I'll do thinner lines with my cuts. So I'll see it bounce there, because this is, uh, lots of people ask, I get lots of emails about this. Why does there what, see it bounce? It almost hit. It almost hit my finger. It's because I'm pushing too hard. When you got a brand new burr like this, the extreme, don't push too hard, or it's gonna bounce, or any type of burr. Okay. You'll see. See here. I'm pushing hard to see it bouncing. Look at that. Okay. They didn't have control of it. See. Don't let it bounce. Don't push as hard. Push. Now watch this, I'm going to push softer. Okay, so, especially when you get into channels like that with walls on your side, it will bounce. But see, I'm just doing it softer, it's not bouncing. Soft touch, no bouncing. See it? I went in the channel, it bounced. So think of it as you got two walls on each side of the bird, it has to grab somewhere, right? And that's what it does. So just take your time for the very beginning. Take your time. Let the bird do the work. Don't put too much pressure on it. See, I'm going to be putting pressure here, and you're going to see it start bouncing again. See? Just kind of rounding off the edges so it's not such a wood wood looking piece again. For the very beginner Dremel carver, power carver. Okay, let's see, it's bouncing because I'm doing end grain here now. I'm just trying to go too fast. See? So, like, just go a very light touch. When your bird gets older, it doesn't bounce so much because it's not so, sh the points aren't so sharp. So this kind of rounded out so there's not a, a cut mark on the forehead. So here I am going to go with my, uh, oh, let's clean up the table. Something you need to do once in a while. Okay, so let's look at this piece, see what's going on here and what's next. Okay, eyebrows. So I'm going to cut on the outside of those lines from the eyebrows. Then I'm going to feather away the wood, then blend the eyebrows into the forehead. And any of you new people watching this video, wondering why my pinky sticks out like that, it's because it's broken and I can't bend it. Thank you very much. Yep. So see how I'm just blending it all in? I took all the way away from the eyebrows. Now they're raised higher. Now I'm just blending it all together. Just kind of trying to equal both things out. I think I'm going to punch these eyes here in here a minute. 
when I do the eyes, hollow eyes, yeah, just making everything equal. When I do the eyes, I go underneath the eyebrows. You'll see. See how I'm taking the mustache down lower? Because it doesn't need to be that far off of the face. I like it be better lower. It blends into the piece, the beard better. Just going back over. Because I got most of my bulking done. So now I can, bulking means the majority of the carving. Now I can just run around and clean it up, right? Okay. So what's next? Okay, so here is those lines. There's your cheek cheeks to your beard. Okay. So this one doesn't turn out the best, but I just do a cut down there that I round the face off on the cheeks. So I do one cut and then I go to the other side. Okay. I go to the other side, try and make sure the cuts are equal on both sides. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I just kind of round the cheeks a bit. You can you can make it so you got higher cheekbones in here or whatever you want to do. Okay, so that will separate your mustache from your face. That's how I do it anyways. So your beard to your face. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to start carving the beard here, am I? So this beard, I'm pushing hard and this is heavy hands edit. Uh, I don't want to waste that much time on this. So I'm just carving very, very sporadic. Oh, I guess I'm not going to do the beard. Where am I? Still rounding the face off, trying to make both sides equal. That's what's happening there. Okay, so is this where I start carving the beard? Or do the eyes? Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna hit I think I'm gonna do the eyes now. Friggin'. I should have had it written down what I did on stages. I should have slowed it down. Okay, I'm looking at the eyes. Am I going to punch the eyes in? Oh, oh, yeah, here it goes. Yeah, so underneath the eyebrow. Okay, underneath the eyebrow. On like a 45. Like, don't carve it straight in. Get up under there. That's how you get that deep, um, what, uh, mystic, mystical look. And there's just some age lines I'm quickly doing. Uh, like I said, I really rushed this piece. I didn't have that much time, but I wanted to uh, get this done. Just taking the eye. So you punched in your eyes now. So then you take below the eyebrows lower, right? And that will give you your eyebrows seem raised up. See that? And just cleaning up inside there. See, if you look on it straight on, it doesn't look like there's holes there. But if you look it on it, when the piece is flat, you'll see it goes up underneath the eyebrows. See that? So you get that shadow there. Just cleaning it up. Re Recarving in the bottom lip. Carving everything a bit deeper. So you see how much time I spend cleaning it up? Just running around making sure everything's equal as much as you can without trying to be in a rush. Once you get the block out done, like the nose cut out and the mustache and the beard stuff, then you can make the wood spirit any, you can add any kind of details and stuff like you want. See how deep I'm cutting in there? That's when you can, you know, basically once you get that nose to pop out and your mustache, and your eye lines, okay, there I'm cutting the nostrils in, up and under. Don't go too thin, or see this right here? I had a blowout. This side went pretty good, but so I'll match the other side. So you got the flare to the nostril, because I cut it too close to the edge of the edge of the wood on the outside, so it broke off. 
It's okay though. I just carry on. I don't let things stop me. Just move forward. Okay, so there I am just, uh, see, I'm still running around, making everything as equal as I can. Cleaning out the eyes a bit more, make sure you don't see any cut lines or anything in there. You guys can paint inside your eyes black if you want, just giving the eyebrows a shape there, see that? Makes it look a little bit more aggressive. You don't have to do both eyebrows, you can just do one. I'm gonna do it here, maybe a little bit. So I'm pushing up on the eyebrow to, to cut it, to give it that round. Like his eyebrows raised up, that's what I did on the right side. Oh, this is a long voiceover. Okay. So, but I figured, okay, so now I'm doing the hair first. Okay, so I'm just kind of cutting my deep lines in at first. I already did it with my uh, Fordham, but with the Dremel here, I'm cutting other deep lines. Then I'm gonna, you're gonna see me start carving like crazy, just crossing my lines on the hairs to separate the hairs. There's so many different ways you can do the, the hairs. Just uh, driving it back at it back a bit farther where the hair is okay so I guess I could have sped this part up but whatever you guys at least you guys are seeing um, what's happening it's not going too fast and you know I don't expect anybody to carve wood spirits like I carve them maybe just if you watch this video and you're very very beginning Dremel carver you might get a tip or two out of this, right? And you, you might see something that I do and I don't even talk about, which will give you an idea, right, to do your own carving. Okay, so what am I going to do here? Okay, I just measured the eyes, make sure they're equal. I'm getting taking the forehead back a bit farther. Get rid of my cut lines where the hair meets the forehead. Okay, I think here I go. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm carving deep and fast here. This isn't sped up. This is this is heavy hounds. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just go carving like crazy. Crossing my crossing the hairlines. Cutting deeper, cutting thinner. But trying to keep your lines smooth. Try try to keep the motion of the hair in that section all going in the same direction kind of if you if you can follow what i'm trying to say so there is the center so it's not so curved that would be the center of his forehead yeah i should have sped this up sorry that's okay maybe this is a relaxing video with all that piano music i put in there And, um, yeah, so I'm not doing nothing for Christmas. Do you know why? Because I don't care. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll go carve Christmas Day. It doesn't bother me. Maybe I'll go carve live, uh, uh, chainsaw carving video live on YouTube. Probably some people that don't do too much on Christmas. So it's like kind of ever since I lost my mom, my mom was like the, uh, she was like the foundation of the family, right? So we'd always have the family Christmas dinners, but since she passed away, we don't really do it anymore. And, and how are you gonna do it with the COVID out there now with the, all the restrictions, you know, like. Anyways, I don't follow that stuff. I don't watch the news. Shoot the camera, man. All right, I'm just trying to get rid of that uh, mark there. So see how the hair is? It's not that thin, it's, it's chunky hair. But it's okay. It says what it is, right? I could make the hair look super thin. With uh, different burrs. But it's okay like this too. There's so many different ways to do it. So you guys find your own way. 
Do what makes you happy. Recutting in the mustache. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start carving the beard. Yep. Just let her just let her go. Let her loose. Who cares? Like I said, just try and just pretend wind's hitting it and it's all going in the same direction, but in different directions. And you're crossing your lines, okay? Crossing your lines being so you don't have just like a big huge one line of hair, big clump of what a, what a big dread beard where it's all dreaded because you didn't wash it in three months. Okay. So, am I going to do the mustache yet? Nope. Still cutting deep. Cutting deep. Let her rip. Dremel carving fusion. Just deeper and lighter cuts, smoothing everything off, making it nice and round. This is the boring part, but like this is if your face isn't very good, at least try and do a good beard. This one's okay. I don't put any paint or any kind of uh, sealer on this. I just leave it the way it is. Because if I was going to oil it, like this is, like I said, it's some kind of fruit wood. So it's, it's spalted fruit wood. So it's like white and brown. It's kind of like a white white spots and orange spots and it would look pretty ugly I think if I uh, put an oil on it and I didn't feel like doing poly shade so I just kind of left it the way it was Na El Naturel so don't think you have to put a finish on your uh, pieces okay it's a it's wood without a finish on it this piece will last like 15 years outdoor in the rain Maybe not 15 years. Cedar would last 20 years for sure, but maybe 15, maybe 14 and a half years it would last. Oh boy. So this video is 32 minutes longer. I think I got another 10 minutes to talk. I still got to explain what was happening in the um, front of the video when I had that little silly ear thing drawing put in the envelope. I'll get to that in a few minutes. Okay, so there I am just kind of... Here I am. So I do kind of make the mustache like flowing. Smooth lines. So you can see it's a mustache. Bringing it out. Cutting in there deeper. See, I just kind of take my time doing the mustache hairs, make them more smooth one lines. Separating the beard from the mustache or the mustache from the beard. See how I have that mustache right close to the beard? It doesn't need to be five feet off the piece. Okay, so that's pretty well done for the carving. Oh no, got to have a coffee break here. Yep. And uh, let's do this some details on the eyebrows, I think. So I could take the bridge of that nose lower, but who cares? Okay, so I just got, to, oh, this, the Peter Blair sounding mandrel. Peter Blair sells these, his emails listed below, okay? And here is some new carving fusion stickers. These, that shiny sticker, I only got a few of them, but I will be taking the white ones over to Pete's place. Look at them. I got like 250 of them. So Pete will be adding those white carving fusion stickers that BAP designed. Um, he will be sending those out with the uh, mandrels. I'm putting a hole in the back of the piece to hang it. So you guys, it will say Peter Blair listed below. 
and it will send his email yes he ships worldwide just send him an email and um, I'll be getting those stickers off to him tomorrow so those will be included with a mandrel okay so the flap sander you guys can see I'm sanding the piece here okay since I started using the sander mandrel man I love I used to hate sanding but now um, I don't really know I uh, no, it doesn't even bother me right but turn your Dremel down when you're using this because that sanding flapper thing on there is hard on your Dremel I've burnt lots of Dremels from this piece okay so now let's talk about that envelope I want to give this piece away to somebody that has watched this video so I've left it to near, near the end where I talk about it so what I put in that envelope I put a number it's between 1 and 75 okay I put one number in there so in this video at the end of the video I just want to see you write carve deeper and take your guess of a number okay one in between 1 and 75 okay so just say carve deeper and only one guess of one number each if you guess more than once well I'll, I'll delete both your to keep it fair I'll delete both your messages so in the comments below guess which number I put in that envelope and I'll I mailed it to myself that's why I put the little lines on the thing you saw mailed it to myself and when I get the envelope back in the mail I'll open it up on a video and we'll see who picked the right number between 1 and 75 okay and I will be sending a few of the carving fusion white stickers along with it I'll be uh, sending one of those shiny carving fusion stickers with it and I'll s send along the other piece of this wood it's not that great but I'll send along the other piece of this wood so you can try carving it yourself too and see how good it smells. Okay, so so one each, one guess each. I don't know, pick your favorite number. And if two people guess the same number, well, I'll have to carve another wood spirit and send two out. So I just thought it would be nice to do as a Christmas. It's not the best wood spirit, but it's, it's something I carved and I carved it for this video, so. Okay, so in the call, after you've done this video, in the comments below right carve deeper and your number guess between 1 and 75 okay and another thing too you might have to stay around to the very end of the video because I might say there's something else to do too right because I like to uh, mix it up a bit I might change my mind and say I might have to say something else too besides carve deeper and your number okay so good luck everybody I know it's not that much but it's something so there's an aluminum cutter okay just a square edge one and um, I'm just gonna quickly put some eyebrows in there in here yep Lee my cat's not doing so well she's just resting letting her body heal okay so make your eyebrows go the right way too right always always faced out going out towards the ears and we'll put some age lines up there so why I didn't put a stain on this piece too is because I'll send you another piece of this wood like I said it's not very good it's got a crack in it but you'll figure it out and you can use this one as a kind of a reference piece because like I said this is a very basic wood spirit if you're a beginning Dremel carver well then you can practice on the piece I send you to and you know it's the exact same type of wood so there I am with some scotch braid on the Peter Blair sanding mandrel and I'm just going to quickly go over the piece and get rid of any quick little fuzzies or any like sharp edges so you guys can buy that cheap scotch braid at the dollar store that green stuff or you can go to like uh, we have Princess Auto or um, Nap or Lord Co here in Canada you can go to a car auto body shop and get the better stuff like the brown stuff here I think the best stuff is the black stuff so just quickly give it a little touch up like I said it's not a it's not a wicked crazy carving but it's something that I did and it's something that I'll mail out to, to one of you persons that chose the right number then if you don't want it when you get it or if you win it if you're the winner and you don't want it just 
Let somebody else win it. Give it away, burn it. I don't know, do what you want to do. Okay, so here it is. You can really see the different colors in the wood. Okay, put your, put your hole hanging on a wall. Sign it. And that's about it. That's about all, folks. If you want to put paint the eyes black inside there and stain it, do whatever you want to do, go for it. But this is the way you're going to get it. Dremel 4000 flex shaft with the cuts all carving burrs, a Fordham SR series with the industrial flex shaft. That's the heavier duty one. And um, I, I use speed controls. Sometimes the speed controls don't work for the Dremel 4000s, but at least it turns on and off. Hope you guys are all gonna be good. Hope you're gonna get together with your families and uh, have a good Christmas. And uh, carry on, friends. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Thanks for watching this video, beginner Dremel Carving.